What's going on guys? So uh, <laughs> this is completely random, but I figured I'd tell you because I think it's uh, kind of funny and fun at the same time. So um, as the title probably suggests, I'm going to grow my hair out. So let me explain why, okay? Because clearly uh, I'm a balding guy and I've been balding for a while. Um, so it kind of started as a joke. Um, at the end of last year, I knew that I wanted to set goals to, uh, to lose weight like uh, half the world, you know, January 1st, you're at the gym <laughs> eating better, right? And it eventually pays off for most people. Um, but I've been having some, uh, some different health problems like high blood pressure, uh, pre-diabetes, um, some other things going on. And it's just time, you know, it's time to just do it. You know what I mean? It's a lot of talk and it goes back and forth. And when I want to lose weight, I do lose weight, but it never lasts. I always gain it back. But this time it has to come off and it has to stay off. So... I made a little uh, goal after making a joke. So, um, you know, January 1st, okay, started eating good, a little bit of exercise, started losing some weight, and I had to shave my face, and when I shaved my face, I did not shave my head. So, uh, you know, my wife, Christina, saw it, and she's like, why don't you shave your head? And I said, oh, I'm growing it out. <laughs> and she said, okay, that'll look good, um, <laughs> which clearly it won't. Um, and then the next time, and I just, I left it, and then the next time I went to shave my face, like, you know, a week and a half or two weeks um, after the year started, I didn't shave my head again. And I kind of made a promise to myself. I mean, first of all, it's kind of funny. And it is, I'm curious what my hair would look like growing out. Uh, but also it's motivation for me to lose weight because I've set a goal that I'm not going to shave my head until I weigh less than 300 pounds. Um, most of last year, I weighed around 350-ish. Uh, I did lose a bunch of weight, got down to like 320, you know, ballooned back up. Uh, when the year started, I weighed 345. I'm not going to say what I weigh right now. However, um, when I get below 300, I'll shave my head. But before I shave my head, I will reveal what my hair looks like grown out. Uh, it will look ridiculous. I can tell you right now, it already looks ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's motivation. You know, when I look in the mirror, when I get dressed in the morning and stuff, I see my, my hair. I'm like, oh, man, I really have to shave. This looks bad. And I've been wearing a lot of hats lately. <laughs> Um, but it, it's just a reminder. It's just another reminder. Like I, I have to do this, you know what I mean? And what happens in life is you keep putting things off. That's not super important until it's too late or it becomes really important. And right now for me, my health is really, really important and I have to focus on it. And, um, I believe that most, if not all of my, uh, health problems, um, will be resolved with weight loss, you know? So it's going to happen. Uh, it's, it's slow and steady. It's not this big, like, you know, starve yourself to death and go to the gym for eight hours a day. Uh, it has to be realistic. Everyone always talks about, um, you know, lifestyle changes as opposed to diets. And it is really true. You have to change your habits. You know, I, I have a lifetime of doing all the wrong things and it, it's, it is a slow process to, you know, have a mindset of not doing that all the time. And you don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to kill yourself at the gym. Um, and you can eat, delicious foods occasionally it just really has to be few and far you know what i mean and i'm not gonna go into the whole thing about it i just i want to make this video just to say that i am on a weight loss journey as some people call it um and it's gonna happen and what's motivating me is my ridiculous hair which clearly you can't see right now because i don't want to give it away so it's been growing for a little over a month now um well not over a month less than a month almost a month i, I meant to say and uh, it's grown in. It's it's very interesting to see where my hair actually grows, where my forehead stops, because that's kind of funny. I originally had a bald spot, then it receded on the front end, and uh, they, they've met each other a while ago, okay? So they are one now. Um, and it's actually really funny, because I, I asked Christina, as my hair started growing in a little bit, I'm like, uh, you know, where's my hairline at? And she's like, well, where do you think it ends? And I'm like, here, I'm not gonna show you where, but I'm like, oh, here, and she's like, uh -uh. And I go back a little bit more. I'm like, here? She's like, keep going. Here, here, here. So it'll be pretty ridiculous looking by the time uh, I get down to uh, below 300. And I'll show you. It'll be fun. Everyone can laugh at me. Um, I make these videos. I have no shame. You saw when I was getting my teeth worked on and stuff, I, I made videos with no teeth. Um, I've been fat. I've been skinny. Um, I've had crazy facial hair. I've had no facial hair. Uh, I just, I share my life with you guys, you know, and not everything is awesome all the time. Sometimes things are embarrassing, and this is definitely embarrassing, um, but I don't care. It, it's it's for fun, you know what I mean? It's for fun, and I'm going to shave it anyway, so who cares? But I am curious to see what my hair would look like, and 
who knows, maybe uh, encourage someone else to do the same thing. It's just, like I said, looking in the mirror, I hate it. I really hate it. And it's just a little bit extra encouragement uh, to make sure that I'm going to stay on uh, my path here and uh, and actually have some weight loss, you know, and, and over time really see some results, you know. Um, but it'll be funny. You know, it's for, for entertainment. I love making videos for you guys. And like 99% of the time, I'm trying to educate people. Um, but even people who don't care about certain subjects, it's just entertaining. And I love to do fun and funny stuff. And it will look pretty funny. And like I said, everyone's going to have a laugh at my expense. And that's okay. Uh, I'm a realist. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a balding guy. I'm not the only one. I have my theories as to why uh, guys bald younger. Because like when I was growing up, no one had a bald spot uh, in high school, okay? <laughs> no one had gray hair in high school. I think uh, generations upon generations of people eating processed food and GMOs and chicken nuggets from McDonald's and who knows what else has uh, deteriorated uh, humanity's health. But uh, that's for a separate video. Maybe a conspiracy theory, I don't really know. Um, but like I said, I think it's more common for younger guys to start losing their hair. And some people are, are very, very... Um, embarrassed by it you know I just it is what it is I have no control over it you know what I mean my hair grows where it grows I don't get to choose uh, if I'm balding but I'm definitely not one of the guys who's gonna wear a toupee I have no interest in hair plugs uh, or spray painting my my skull you know so it just is what it is so I shave because shaving is the best possible look um, but I'm curious I definitely have an old man haircut right now and uh, it's getting longer and it, it's kind of scary because I haven't had I haven't grown my hair out since high school. And if you guys don't know, I don't know if I ever shared old pictures and stuff, but I had, uh, I had hair <laughs> at some point. My, uh, from probably, I wanna say like third grade until my senior year in high school, I had the same haircut. I had what was called a mushroom cut back in the 90s. And basically I had long hair that was parted in the middle and it stopped here. And underneath all of it was shaved, all right? So it looked kinda like a mushroom. I mean, if you look back at like 90s movies and stuff, you'll see that hairstyle. Um, and it's what like all the, the boys had, you know, I would say at least at least like half to three quarters of kids Growing up had the same haircut some guys had really short hair or really long hair if they're like, you know into rock and stuff like that But generally speaking that was the hairstyle um, So it was popular for many many years and then at some point uh, after high school uh, for I want to say like six months to a year I never got a haircut um, Mostly because I didn't really see anyone anymore uh, after high school um, and I just wore a hat, I slicked it back, and my hair got long. It got down to my, my shoulders. It looked a little crazy. Um, so I shaved it. For the first time in my life, just shaved my head bald, and I never looked back. Uh, I thought, this is amazing, because every single day, part of the daily routine is brushing your hair and stuff. Once I shave my hair, there is no brushing. Uh, of course, you have to maintain it. You know, you have to keep shaving your, your hair. Uh, people's hair obviously grows at different rates. For me, I would have to shave my head at least once a week you know, to maintain a, a decent look. Uh, sometimes you get lazy, sometimes it grows a little bit longer, you can tell it looks longer, it looks lazy. Just like if you let your, you know, stubble grow in, in your face, you know, so, you know, it's a constant thing, having to shave your head, but it's really not that big of a deal, and I'm so used to it, because I've been doing it for so many years. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be uh, fun, you know, that's really why I'm doing this, it's going to be fun, but there's an underlining reason for it, and that is for the extra motivation on the weight loss. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. But I'm gonna keep uh, you know touching up the face. I always have the beard. I had the beard uh, for so long, you know, just a little bit of a, a thing going on here. Sometimes I've had it longer. I've had it really short. It kind of hides the the double chin, which is nice. Um, when I've shaved my face completely bald, I look like a big baby. You know, I have I have a big fat round face and you know a double chin and stuff. I didn't like it very much. So um, yeah, that's why I always have a little beard thing. Uh, once I lose a, a bunch of weight and I get skinny again, maybe I'll I'll shave it off again. Um, you know, I have some old pictures. Uh, you know, I was totally clean shaven when I was losing all that weight, when I was down to like, you know, 203, 205. Um, you know, I like my, my jawline and everything, but being fat, you get self-conscious. Like I said, you get the old turkey neck, you know. So anyway, enough about me. I just wanted to uh, to tell you guys to look forward to that. I know some of you guys are really going to look forward to that. Be like, oh man, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Because uh, it will be crazy, it'll look stupid, um, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm a little bit curious about it, but like I said, it has a little little purpose behind it. And then uh, once I hit my goal, it'll be fantastic. I'll show you, we'll all laugh together, and then I'll shave it immediately, because it's going to look horrible. It already looks bad, and it's only going to get longer. So anyway, that's it for now. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, as a total aside, if you just don't care about me or my hair, I will give you a quick little note. I've been carrying the, uh, the Minimalist. Um, this is the one I got at JT's Knife Shop in Port Jervis. And uh, I'm digging it. I mean, I've always loved the Minimalist. And I have to say, people are asking me about like SHOT Show and stuff. And, and you know, what are the new knives for, for 2022 that you like? And, and I like a lot of them. There's, there's a bunch. It's hard to really come up with one. However, the one that I am actually excited about is the Katana version of the Minimalist, which has a longer blade. Um, it'll just be interesting with the longer blade uh, to see how that fares with the, the smaller handle. You know, obviously it's more capable. You can use it a little bit harder. But anyway, I'm looking forward to that knife in the future. Eventually I'll have it. Um, but I want to mention that the, the cleaver minimalist is awesome because I've been prying a lot with the, uh, the end here. It's just one of the benefits of having a cleaver and not a, sh a super sharp point. You can do a lot of prying with that. So really been coming in handy. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.